Hello, welcome in. Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm gonna be reading. We're gonna jump into the airwaves, the Neptunian seas, and uh, we're gonna see what the most important storyline is going on at the moment. I'm hearing encouragement, so you could be trying to, you know, coax yourself into some new mindset. It's all about that gentle persuasion I'm getting, you know, rehypnotizing ourselves into our higher self. So someone could be dealing with something like that. I'm going to zone into the energies now. Okay, death, there we go, transformation. So mindset by mindset, action by action, I'm getting ritual, okay? I'm getting that someone's really taking control over their mind, right? You could be listening to like a lot of guided hypnosis or, you know, like Joe Dispenza type things where you're realizing that what you tell your subconscious mind, you become. So I'm getting that some work you're doing is really transforming yourself, right? Or really transforming you with the death card, okay? I'm, I'm getting this energy of right. I want more, you know what I mean? I'm moving forward, I'm getting this, I'm doing this. So let's see, what is this death card connected to? Okay, five of pentacles. So something in the past where, you know, you decided to support yourself or provide more for yourself or move into this building metaphorically and go get that disco ball. I don't know if you can see that there. That's a disco ball and I feel like you are going for the disco ball, okay? So it's great. I love the Five of Pentacles. It's one of those feedback cards where it shows you what you've previously allowed or conjured up and then you can adjust your behavior, right? So, you know, it could be that people around you weren't as supportive as you would like and you're like, right, you know, I'm doing something about this. I know I attract everything in. So I've got the control and it's brilliant when you get to that level of pure responsibility and pure control because then you become a true divine creator within the game. There we go, page of wands. I'm hearing this message of you've got your pizzazz back. You've got your kick back. For some reason they're saying kick back, right? So that could be relevant with, you know, something you're doing. I feel like this is a you know, an example of success is the only way, like success is the only form of revenge, or I don't have time for revenge, I've got good shit to be creating, right, new adventures, new beautiful mindsets, I feel like you could be feeling really inspired and uplifted to get out into the world, and, you know, really live it, really sort of collect beautiful experiences, find those gems, and, you know, really categorize, catalog what am i saying catalog some beautiful things right i feel like your soul is hungry for some beautiful events beautiful people beautiful times so this is a card of refreshment with the page of wands and i can see with the nine of wands that you know you're guarding your new state of happiness so i think this is really really good you know we've got the nine and the page of wands so i'm getting that nothing is going to dim your fire nothing is going to drain you of the energy that you've built up for yourself right there we go ten of swords with the temperance and funnily enough these two came out on the pre-shuffle so similarly with the five of pentacles the ten of swords is a feedback card and i feel like you decided to be a true alchemist and truly you know go through those mindsets that the tarot shows us and truly alchemize something different within the dream so i feel like you're thinking new thoughts thinking in new ways and, you know, I've got this energy coming through. Okay, I see where I stand. Okay, I get it. I know, you know what I mean? But you've made the best of this. It's beautiful. You've taken the feedback in the earth school in the exact right way. Do you know what I mean? There's this energy of not taking anything personally, but redirecting yourself to somewhere you're going to be happy and having beautiful boundaries also, right? Six of Pentacles, so I feel like over here in your new life, right, in your beautiful new life, you want to meet people that you can be your real self with. You want to be able to be generous and big-hearted and, you know, really flow your essence out in a beautiful way. And with the Six of Pentacles, this is also help from the universe, you know, allowing the universe to sort of sweep you up in its beautiful momentum and trusting the universe to take you to the right places at the right time, which is a beautiful way of being. They're showing me the boat in my mind's eye that's normally on the Six of Swords. So this is a kind of double or dual entendre with this Six of Pentacles that they're giving me, that you're really following your guidance and allowing the universe to show you which way to go and to show you who to trust 
in a really lovely, peaceful, but excited way, right? We've got the Ace of Swords here. So I feel like you feel really clear on your goals and really clear on who you are. And, you know, this is such a powerful card, this Ace of Swords, because it means that you've refined your thinking and your thoughts and your self-concept to such a fine point of clear and truthful understanding that it's earned you a crown. It's earned you this crown in the game, which means, energetically speaking, you're paving the next segment of your life in a beautiful way because you know yourself, right? Something helped you clarify who you are and what you would rather have in your life, right? And that's such powerful alchemical juju. That's a powerful alchemical gift because it means the universe can respond to you in a much more refined way, right? Once we know what we want, the universe can deliver it. But, you know, trust me, as a Libra, I've been in that position where I'm like, I don't know what the hell I want. I can go for anything, right? The options can be overwhelming. So something helped you define something here. And, you know, this is what Earth's all about, you know, the variety, getting to know ourselves better, refining our preferences and our scope of vision. So I feel like there's something powerful here about you sending out clearer clearer requests, right? That was the tower that just jumped out then. So we'll see if it comes out again, but devil energy, okay? But this is you clarifying what you consider personally to be devil energy, right? Let's see what else comes out. There we go, eight of cups. Something's really giving you clarity here and it's given you, wow, what a synchronicity, beep, beep. It's given you this momentum, right, with the universe, like I was picking up on with the Six of Pentacles. It's given you this forceful, energetic field, okay, something you walked away from. It really helped you clarify your viewpoint because we've got the King of Cups hiding under there. So uh, I feel like you've really clarified your emotions, and this is beautiful, flowing energy, right? Now you've walked away from someone. Spirit's so funny, right, because, you know, you can't get more blatant than that the victory after you walked away from the devil, right? Eight of cups with the devil, LOL. Spirit can be so blatant. So they want you to know that this good feeling you've got, you've earned it, you've chosen it, okay? We are the choosers, all right? We are the ones who create everything. And I feel like you're getting that and you're seeing the power, the feedback from the universe, all right? Okay, let's get some little clarifiers. What do we need to know about the Five of Pentacles? That was almost the Page of Cups poking out then. Wow, victory, there we go. You made all the right moves when you were in a certain situation. And, uh, oh, this is just such a satisfying card. Let me uh, let you look at it for a little bit longer, right? This person's being brought gifts. I say this person. This cat, which I'm sure is a Leo, is being brought lots of gifts, all right? Now it's funny, you know. When you date someone with like a Venus in Leo, they will bring you lots of cute gifts. It's quite sweet. You can't argue with astrology, right? And this is what the universe is doing with you, right? You've chosen this for yourself. They keep giving me that word chosen, chosen. You chose to be the sort of person who picks himself up and doesn't take things personally. I don't feel like you needed to pick yourself up from anything. I feel like, you know, there was some clarifying situation. You were like, you did that to the wrong one. You did that to a winner and you made it happen, right? You command your reality. You chose this timeline and it's a beautiful one. Five of swords here, right? And I'm getting this energy of you're not letting me or you're not putting me in the position of the targeted one. You're not gonna try and scapegoat me or battle me, right? It's like, really? You really wanna do that? That's the kind of energy I'm getting from the five of swords here with the death energy, it's like, nah, you wanna get toxic, I'm just gonna move on. You can't beat me, I'm a winner, right? Six of wands, okay, page of wands, show me. Someone said something sweet on my comments the other day, they said, we're all born winners, we're all born winners, it's like, yeah, we're all immortal, source energy, right? We know this, but there's a reason why we came out of the non-physical and decided to be in human format. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a winner in real life. You know, we are here, we wait a long time for our vessels and we wanna do stuff, we wanna create stuff, okay? So it's like people get stuck in puddles of spirituality. It's like we are here to alchemize and create beautiful artistic realities, do you know what I mean? And I feel like you're doing that with the Ace of Cups, right? 
Ace of C here. It's beautiful, this card mixed with the Page of Wands. This is you really having a cleansed heart. This is you really connecting your heart chakra to source energy and having so much energy and, and a big blessing from the universe I'm getting. You've got this big, huge energy around you as you move forward in this beautiful energy of adventure and excitement and self-love and love for others, right? Love for the real ones, you know? And this is a... This is a blessing you're conjuring up because you've done some real good work here with the Nine of Wands to hold your positioning, you know, stand by your values and your self-respect. So I absolutely adore this. Seven of Wands. I always get these two together. The Nine and the Seven of Wands. And it always happens to me since I was a kid with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is perfect. This is exactly what I was just saying. Sovereign boundaries. Okay, sovereign boundaries, right? And a beautiful sense of knowing who you are with the Ace of Swords, knowing in your beautiful sovereign nature, regality, the regality of being one of God's children and knowing in your free will and knowing in the power of your heart and knowing in the power of your mind. This is beautiful. Show me the Ten of Swords. There we go. This is the Nine of Cups, okay? This is wish fulfillment. So you see that cat's little face there? happy happy in the eyes of god and happy with your blessings and happy that the universe loves you and chilled out you made a real good choice on this ten of swords you really did and i love this this is how i react when people try and you know when people try and destroy me or they try and come up against me it's just nine of cups all the way and it's great motivation wouldn't you agree you know six of wands nine of cups energy yes perfectly played i'm getting well played my love okay i feel like that's someone on the other side saying well played my love well played okay temperance with the uh temperance but it's called grace on this card okay so this is you balancing this is you walking on that wall and dodging all of the uh things that aren't for you and keeping your stride perfect moving beautifully forward okay very angelic very graceful and beautiful intentions, a beautiful heart here. I feel like you've got lovely energy that you can uh, really share with the world. And again, there's that energy of you painting your own canvas and creating your own heaven on earth that's really beautiful. Show me the six of pentacles. Sky queen. We've got the uh, queen of swords here. So I feel like you're being, you know, I feel like you've learned your lessons and you've got this lovely clear royalty mindset queen of swords you know she doesn't just cut people off she's wise she's got the justice energy she's got that libran energy she's fair okay the queen of swords is really fair and i feel like now you know you're up in your little tree you know your own little palace your own mental psychological palace right and no one can budge you okay because you've earned this positioning because you've got your boundaries so good and your expectations are right okay you've got them tweaked to this rightness level show me this ace of swords what are we doing show me cat magic there we go there's that power of the mind again with the magician card coming out okay so you're alchemizing you're creating your reality nice with this ace of swords and there's something you're going to bring in quite quickly i feel because like i say once you know exactly what you want it can be shocking how quick the uni universe can bring it to you i was almost about to say unicorn then okay so you could uh you could have some magic like the unicorn. You could have etherealized yourself. Okay, they're telling me you could see this sword as a unicorn horn. And I know that's not what they're called, but I always forget the technical name for it. I, I like saying unicorn horn. And um, they're saying that's how clear your mind is. Pineal gland being specifically clear for you, okay? So it's a powerful thing when you know your mind can point at what you want and focus and that everything you focus on, you're pulling more into your reality whether you like it or not and i feel like you've got a lovely clear focus on all the things that uplift you invigorate you which is giving you this super alchemical magician energy now let's have a look show me ten of wands okay show me eight of cups wow so you were burdened by someone here with the devil and the ten of wands but look at this, the Eight of Cups to the star energy. I'm getting that you're just, you've got superpower. You've got this star sparkly superpower energy and everything you do from a good intention, it just keeps bringing you more love into your life, right? Because 
you know, I feel like you're not giving your love away to the ones who don't deserve it because you know when you give your love to someone who appreciates it, it makes even more love, right? So it's more economical to really kind of give love to those who are also givers, you know? So I feel like you've got this great sense of neutrality when it comes to some devil, right? It's showing up on the table for a reason. I feel like what they want to tell you with this is that you did move away from a great burden, right? So if there's anyone hanging on you, trying to make out, you know, you're the bad one in any situation, nah, -uh, this is very clear, okay? You're the sparkly one and you're going after your dreams here, looking up at the sky and being like, thank you, God, you give me so much power of focus and you give me this sense of self-love and you bless me in so many ways every day. I just feel like you're so appreciative of life and what's coming for you is beautiful yeah look at this graciousness and benevolence the snap dragon i love to try and say the latin hang on antirinum antirinum perhaps no act of kindness no matter how small is ever wasted that's so cute that is really cute show me more with two temperance cards on the table and then we get the graciousness and benevolence lily and this is lilium majesty and virtue the lily is the emblem rare of many virtues good and rare oh so i feel like you're really preserving this rare elixir of yours okay i feel like you realize that your kindness was wasted on something or someone and that you simply did not belong in that storyline right hyacinth hyacinthus orientalis playfulness play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance okay and i feel like that's what you're prepared for with your beautiful beautiful heart and all these lovely energies on the table let's get some of these okay lovely oh spinning the queen around okay maybe that's a sign right you could be getting spun around very soon Okay, we've got the letter S, and I'm getting sunshine with this, although, you know, it could resonate with you all in different ways. Let me know in the comments. We've got M, we've got S and M, LOL. That could be some, that could be a real resonant one for someone out there. N, okay, so we've got N for November, M for mother, S for sugar. Okay, we've got the crown chakra, and I'm getting pineal gland as well off of this, the star. <laughs> The lucky bottle cap with the star card. So whatever you're moving into, again, that feeling of you being so super blessed, okay? We've got this beautiful pink gem here. And I feel like you are the beautiful pink gem, okay? That's what I'm getting. And you've kept yourself preserved. You've kept your heart chakra really well protected and full, right? It's like brimming over. It's overspilling. It's on the verge of overspilling. We've got this measuring jug here, and they're telling me temperance, temperance. So I feel like you're being very measured with your alchemical actions and behaviors and even who you speak to and how you speak to people, right? Because it's like words as spells. So this is you getting your personal alchemy or what some might call spell work, uh, you know, really aligned and pure and beautiful. And, uh, you know, everything we do commands something from the universe. We're constantly living in a ritualistic patterned life right oh look what we've got we've got another m mama <laughs> right we've got two m's on the table which i feel like is significant right for two to be coming out okay we've got this uh, beautiful clear pin now my pins are all about you clarifying and pinpointing something you want or who you are in a very strong and decisive way that shifts and solidifies your signal into such a steady signal that you create a really powerful timeline for things to be attracted onto, right? So this is good. This is that clear water, clear mind energy. And then finally, we've got this four leaf clover. You lucky little minx or Mr. Minx, okay? This, I'm just getting this lucky minx energy, okay? Male or female, whatever. And uh, it's because you've really concretize you know your boundaries who you are you cut off the burdens here and i feel like you've got lots of lovely beautiful things coming onto your timeline people this is blessed this is orchestrated because you made the right decision all right and it's a powerful one following that feeling that the star gives us of the beautiful things waiting for us 
I love this, okay? Let's get one of these or two or three. I always say I'm gonna grab one of these and then I do something completely opposite. <laughs> okay, darkest before dawn, nine of swords. Okay, that's interesting. Show me one more. Ooh, we've got the truth hurts, right? And this, I feel like they're talking about this person here. Nine of swords, three of swords, right? Oh, God, I didn't expect that to come out on the table. And then we've got supreme passion with the king of wands. So they're telling me these are secrets that they're giving you, right? So there could be someone lurking who's got supreme passion for you, okay? Could be something to do with this devil card. But this is secret info, they're saying, because you've done so well and you're so blessed. I don't normally get this message coming through. Someone's hoping that you've got passion for them, I'm getting. King of Wands energy, this could be coming in in someone's future, all right? But for someone, this one is uh, suffering without you, okay? But we've got this Mega Shield, this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Diamonds, Mega Shield, okay? So I'm getting this energy of, nope, they're not allowed, okay? But just be aware, someone could be suffering without you, all right? That's for somebody. I hope this reading has been good. And again, you want to maintain this Mega Shield, high honor, high respect, okay? Don't go worrying about this one too much, okay? I feel like there's someone hot on your timeline going forward, but I feel like this devil is in a bad spot, all right? So keep yourself on your maximum, most self-loving frequency. Don't feel sorry for anyone toxic from your past. That's for one person out there, because there's something beautiful sneaking in, right? This is a king of wands energy, way better than a devil, okay? Love you guys loads. Mwah.